Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Following Wednesday's insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, social media sites like Facebook and Twitter banned President Donald Trump from their platforms. It's a move applauded by Florida Democrats. We had never seen a president that would conduct himself in such a despicable way. So I think that his removal was justified. Google, Apple, and Amazon also took action to deplatform the conservative-leaning social media app Parler. Florida Republicans consider it an assault on free speech. It seems like big tech is uh, using their resources to push their political agenda and to silence those who do not agree with them. Legislation filed in the Senate would require social media companies to inform users why they were banned within 30 days. A House bill goes much further. It would allow users to sue if they've been banned for political or religious speech for a minimum of $75,000 in damages. All we're doing here is saying, hey, there's a new business regulation. If you're X amount of size, you, can't, uh, you cannot discriminate based on political viewpoint. The House bill does allow social media platforms to ban users for calls to violence, posting pornography, impersonation, or if a court orders an account to be removed. The companies could still moderate, but they can't use the moderation exception to Section 230 uh, to basically publish what it is they like and don't like. And while the Senate version currently doesn't go as far as the House's, the sponsor pledged to make it stronger as it moves through the legislature. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.